room where technology and human intuition work in tandem. This is one of Georgia Power's distribution control centers, a hub where outages are received and crews are dispatched. The technology behind power restoration rapidly evolved in recent decades. 20 years ago, your average pop-up storm could have left thousands without power for hours. Fast forward to 2022, now many customers may not even lose power in the first place, thanks to this new technology. Gwen Frazier, general manager of operations, oversees the five control centers around Georgia. We have invested $10 billion in the last 10 years to make our system more reliable and more resilient. That includes three main tech upgrades, smart meters in your home, which immediately let Georgia Power know when your service is out, smart devices in the field, which pinpoint the source of the outage, and monitoring devices, which can tell operators when equipment may need repairs so it can be fixed before it breaks. The smart devices give us all the information that we used to be dependent on human people to tell us. Now for the first time, we were given exclusive access to show you this symphony of technology. This is the smart grid system. Operator Navilla Paul, a three-year veteran with the company, shows us how outages are detected and isolated. On this particular day, weather wasn't a huge factor with outages impacting just handfuls of customers at a time. But on a day with pop-up thunderstorms, the outages can jump to the hundreds or thousands. When a new outage happens, the self-healing component of the network starts opening and closing devices to isolate the number of customers without power. It does a lot of the work and it helps to cut down on that outage time. Then, Navilla puts the information to action. She can further isolate an outage. Then, like a 911 operator, dispatches line workers to the source. Important public services like hospitals are given priority. After that, the goal is to restore power to the most customers as quickly as possible. We go to the power lines that are serving the most people. And so if you know what a substation is, the power lines that are coming directly out of a substation, we start there and work out from there just like you would the fingers of a hand. You start from the, the biggest part and you start moving out to the fingers and get everybody picked up until we've got everybody on. A team effort to turn the lights back on that much quicker. When we do take our time to help those customers get their power back on, some of them are very, very appreciative. And of course, we hope to see those improvements there to kind of break down and knock down some of those power outages that we have out there.